What's up? Welcome back to the channel, you pussy ass punk fucking bitch. Today we're gonna look at one of my favorite death matches ever. It's from the quarterfinals of IWA Mid South's King of the Death Match 2006 on night two. The match was booked as Eric Priest versus Ian Rotten in a Fans Bring the Weapons death match. Problem is, Eric Priest might not have shown up to the building. A few years prior to this, Ian Rotten took Mickey under his wing at a young age and was teaching her how to wrestle, but he didn't want her to wrestle death matches. This is Mickey Knuckles' second death match ever, as two weeks before she wrestled her first death match in a four corners of pain four-way for the IWA Deep South heavyweight title at IWA Deep South Southern Discomfort 2006. The match took place on June 3rd of 2006 at the Capitol Sports Center in Plainfield, Indiana. It's been a minute since I posted, so I figured I'd come back with a fucking banger. Eric Priest received a bye to the second round after winning the Bunkhouse Battle Royal at IWA Mid-South's Hurt 2006. King of the death matches. Eric Priest literally gorilla pressed Hardcore Craig and threw him outside the ring to win the match. Oh my god! Eric Priest! Eric Priest! Eric Priest! Eric Priest is in the king of the death matches! Eric Priest, unbelievable! Ian Rotten made it to the quarterfinals after defeating Insane Lane and Brandon Prophet in the quarterfinals after destroying both men with a chair shot. Oh! Prophet now rolled up. The referee barely able to get over there. Two, three. Brandon Prophet is eliminated. One more. One more for the road. Down to one. One on one. Oh! One more, chair shot to the face, one, two, three! And the undisputed... We get the match graphic and then we get a shot of the ring with all the weapons and the announcers are talking about if Eric Priest showed up or not. I haven't seen him, but Eric Priest is supposed to be here! Ian Rotten's music, The Beautiful People by Marilyn Manson comes over the speakers as the ring crew loads the ring with more weapons. Seconds away from finding out! Oh yeah, I'm gonna say no. You see Ian Rotten bandage up on his head and arm from the night before and he makes his way to the ring. Pretty boy. There's no way. Ian Ian told him it was gonna be versus Ian in the first round. Eric Priest knew. You see Ian start to stretch his arms out as he walks around the ring and then he climbs in. Because it, yeah, Ian said it weeks ago, you know. I will put you against me. See the dude in the white shirt walk up to Ian and start telling him something, but we can't hear what he's saying. Eric Ian's music dies down as he checks out some of the weapons. Hey, Ian go. picks up some yellow thing on the mat the and then throws it back down. Royal, the, first, the, the first, the first house. one. Ian walks around the ring, patiently waiting on Eric Priest. All of a sudden, some music comes over the speakers. Wait a minute. This is not Eric Priest's music. No, it's not. I know this song, and it means one thing. Mickey Knuckles' music starts playing over the speakers, and Ian Rotten's like, bro, what the fuck? Well, this is called Baby Girl. And there's only one person. You see a young-ass Mickey Knuckles person. in the entranceway, jumping up and down, making her way to the Girl. ring. And it's Mickey Knuckles! Ian had told Mickey in the past that she was banned from the tournament, so everyone in the crowd is going nuts, and Mickey walks up and checks out the weapons and then climbs onto the apron. Mickey climbs through the ropes into the ring as Ian Rotten shakes his head no. Shaking his head no! Not, not having any of it! Mickey walks up to Ian and starts talking to him and grabs onto his face saying, Aren't I your baby girl? <laughs> look at him trying to, look at him oh. trying to butter him up. The crowd breaks out into a Mickey chant. I've seen that one. That's when she... she Mickey calls for a mic and the ring crew gives it to her and she gets on the mic and tries to convince Ian to let her wrestle. He's cheering him up right no, now. No, there's a serious look on his face. Eric Go. Priest is not here. He Go. gave me his spot. Go. These people are obviously want to be in this tournament. Yeah. Crowd's like, fuck yeah, let's do this. And Ian Rotten grabs the mic. For one time First time in his life, I don't know about that. And Ian I'll starts talking story. shit to a fan, and his wife comes out and defends hey, Mickey. I'll say it. Ian, Ian, usually the. Wait a minute, Patty's out here. 
Patty coming out hard repping feminism, and Patty Ian Rotten's like, what the fuck? Do it. She says, why not? She wants to do it. Let her do it. I tend to agree. She wants. She knows what she's getting herself into. If she wants to enter this tournament, she's got it. Crowd breaks out into a We Want Mickey chant. Ian gets on the mic and tells Patty to fuck off. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> this shit's getting juicy. Um, yeah. If one of the two of them... I'm not asking you, Patricia. I'm telling you. Get your ass back. I'm not asking you either. I'm telling you. Let her do it. Okay, when the parents of my godson are at each other's throat like this, it makes me feel very uncomfortable. Patty taking over the whole the fucking show. show. Ian Rotten held hostage. Second one. Crowd tells Ian that Mickey's gonna fucking kill him. <laughs> hey, you know, these fans are gonna, they're gonna push these, Ian too far. These fans, these fans are trying to get onto Ian's very last nerve. What, what do I always say? Who is she? She's a little fucking Ian is exactly what she is. Let her do it. Ian's like, you know what? Fuck it. I forfeit and exits the fucking ring. Ian, Ian, Ian forfeits. No, come on. Pondo just came walking out. As Patty tries to convince Ian, all of a sudden, Madman Pondo comes out to the ring and gets on the mic. Wait a minute. Pondo, Ian and Madman Pondo were the tag team champions of IWA Mid South at the time. Too. Pondo's not in a tournament anymore. Maybe he's trying to come. He gets on the mic and has some words for Ian. Ian, I know you're heated right now. It ain't the first time you ever been heated at me, so I'm just gonna say what I gotta say, and then I'm gonna go. Come on, me and you work. Let's go. Ignore her. The thing about it is, I used to watch Japanese tapes. I'm a good Kudo. Who? And you gotta fucking admit, Megumi Kudo, me and you both driving down the road, we talked about what's the most hardcore bitch in her time. Yeah. Is Pondo standing up for a feminine rights? Kudo is retired and lives with her husband, Hito. She's happy. But Mickey's happy. And she wants to do this shit. And I think Mickey's got a damn good chance of being this time Megumi Kudo. And one hardcore girl. You can see, I mean, Ian's had stomach problems and you could see it wrenching on him. Yeah. I know what's got your mind already. Pondo, you're fired. Pondo, you're fired. I heard that shit so many times I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> He cared when Ian went after him and tried to jab him in the eye with a fork. I hope you see it that way, too. I'm on your side, Mickey. Ando taking Mickey's side, and we can see her being grateful for it. I don't tell you shit to do with IWA East Coast. Don't tell me what to do with my company and my family. Take your ass back to the dressing room. For me, you have a problem again. Yeah, and the last time they had a problem, Ian had to be restrained in the locker room. As Ian watches Pondo make his way into the back, Mickey Knuckles grabs a giant bundle of tubes. Mickey! Mickey almost takes Ian's fucking head off. Oh! That was fucking amazing. We gotta see it again. Wait a minute. Oh! Bro, the whole bundle went flying into the fucking crowd. Check it out. The crowd goes fucking insane. This place is going nuts. Mickey looks at Ian like, come on, motherfucker, as the crowd breaks out into a holy shit chant. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. I Mickey grabs Ian by the head and gives him a big forearm. Oh, 
Forearm sends Ian falling onto his stomach, and Mickey goes into the corner and grabs another giant bundle of tubes. Mickey now! He starts sticking the bundle down Ian's singlet. Mickey backs up and gives Ian a big senton. He just missed the light tube, so she gets up and sticks it back down his singlet and does it again. <laughs> Mickey looking fucking fierce. Look in the eyes of Mickey Knuckles. Fans break out into another holy shit chant she's as she gets on top of Ian and pulls the light tubes out of his singlet. Now she's wrestling him in King of the Death. She flips Ian over and goes for the first pinfall of the match, but only gets a two count. Look at his head. Mickey stands up to her feet and starts looking for more weapons. He could have lost his eye the way she. How many lights? He had a shot of Ian Rotten bleeding from underneath his bandage as the crowd chants Mickey Knuckles. You see Mickey exit the ring and start looking through the fans' weapons. The crowd loves She does that, we get a shot of Ian Rotten in the ring trying to make it to his feet, and he stands up and pulls the straps of his singlet down. Looking for just the right weapon. She's got something in mind. But she you can see chunks of broken glass coming out of his singlet, and the referee comes over and helps. And after what she's done to Ian, I don't think he's gonna be. Ian leans up against the ropes and we get a shot of his face and he's like, holy fucking shit. Has been drawn in the sand, so to speak. Mickey Knuckles says, you'll fight me whether you like it or not, Ian Rodney. Ian starts taking some slow steps in the ring and then we get a shot of Mickey Knuckles on the outside, still on the hunt for a weapon. Over there. She makes her way around the side of the ring and she's looking for something specific. Mickey must have saw like a boxing glove she with thumbtacks on it or something because she was asking for it and a fan gives her something with thumbtacks on it and she puts it on her hand and climbs in the ring and punches Ian Rotten right in the face with it. Tacks fall on the ground and she picks it back up and puts it on her hand and punches him again. With a fistful of thumbtacks! Tacks fall on the ground again and she goes to pick it back up and Ian fucking destroys her. Jesus Christ, Ian went fucking insane. We gotta see that again. Ian Rotten inject him in the face with a fistful of thumbtacks. Here, let's do it again. And Ian has my favorite weapon. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It was so fucking brutal, and we get a shot of Mickey sitting up on the mat as Ian Rotten walks around the ring. Ian Rotten nearly decapitated Mickey Knuckles with that water jug! Referee goes over to check on Mickey as the crowd breaks out into a Let's Go Mickey chant. The camera pans back on Ian, who's now holding a barbed wire tennis racket. Ian asks Mickey if she regrets taking the match. Uh oh. Cracks her in the face with the racket. Get a zoom in on a bloody Ian yelling at Mickey. It is not what I want. I'm Mickey starting. may have wanted this. Ian stands over I'm Mickey and starts dinging the barbed wire into her forehead. My desire to want to see this myself. You can kind of see that Mickey's blading underneath the tennis racket. Okay, Mickey made a valiant. You get a shot of Mickey's bloody forehead as she crawls around on all fours. in here, but yeah. Ian bends over and picks up a thumbtack bat. It's alive. Ian walks up and hits her in the fucking throat with the thumbtack bat. Talked about it. Oh! He talked about it at the question. Dude, he hit her pretty fucking hard with that, and he points her right on the head with it. Switzerland. I mean, think about those things. Ian Rotten talked about it. Oh! He talked about it at the question and answer. She's already scheduled to go and represent Ida Bay Mid-South in Switzerland. Those things, Mickey. Think about the Ian walks around the ring looking for more weapons as the crowd breaks out into a Let's Go Mickey chant. Ian bends over and picks up a sign and walks back over to Mickey. The fans fucking love Mickey and Ian walks up with the sign but she punches him in the stomach and hits him in the head with it. Oh! 
Oh, Ian stumbles a little bit and then walks up and gives her a huge forearm. Oh. Holy shit, and Mickey comes back with one of her own. Ian stumbling even more but comes back with another. That forearm set something off in Mickey's brain. Who's gonna help me take care of my godson if Mickey gets hurt? Mickey gives Ian a big forearm that sends him into the ropes and then he gives him a big spinning kick. Oh! Spin kick! You're a fuck him up Mickey Chan as Ian Rotten stands her up and says something to her in her ear. He's that serious about this now. After he's done talking, he clubs Mickey in the back, but she comes back and gives him an elbow to the stomach. I'd be breaking out shit I didn't do. Mickey looks around and finds a cookie sheet with mini light tubes taped to it. In case you didn't know, small tubes like that are way more dangerous than normal sized ones. Tubes to be hit with. Crowd chants for Mickey as she checks out a cut on her arm and she walks up to Ian and just rips his bandage off and then uses her nails to try to dig his cut open. Mickey keeps digging her nails into the cut and we get a shot of Ian telling her to headbutt him. At that wound on his forehead. Mickey now fires Ian says, oh yeah, watch this. Oh. Did you ever think that you would ever see Ian? Ian went fucking insane with those headbutts and Mickey falls back onto her ass and tries to get back up. No. In IWA Mid-South. No, there, it is 100% of this building. Mickey crawls on all fours into the corner and Ian grabs her by the hair and starts kicking her in the fucking face. Oh, and now brutal Kawada kicks in the face. The crowd, the crowd doesn't know how to react. They don't, yeah. Mickey falls onto her back and lays there for a second, and then she tries to do a sit up, and we see that Ian Rotten has his own bundle of light tube. Damage Ian gives her her light tube bundle receipt. That's gotta be it. A head full of light too. Ian stands there as we get a shot of Mickey and Ian jumps and does a front flip onto her and then goes for the pin and only gets a fucking two count. Two! No! She wants more, Ben! The crowd is fucking rock hard and breaks out into another Let's Go Mickey chant. Ian sits there on his knees and stands Mickey up to her knees and they go for a sick headbutt exchange. Trading headbutts with Ian Rotten of all people. Oh God! No! And look, she's fired back. Well, I tell you, they're both very hard. -headed. Both of them fall down onto their backs on the mat, and dude, that was pretty fucking brutal. Crowd is chanting "Holy shit!" as we see Ian and Mickey laying there in pain. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. And we are not even halfway through the night. <laughs> not even close. Ian makes it to his feet first, and he stands there and waits for Mickey to get up. Seen electrified light tubes, and still I think we've topped it all to this point. As Mickey Knuckles is stead toe to toe with the under. Ian gives her an Irish whip, but she reverses it. And when Ian bounces off the rope, she goes for a clothesline and misses. So he gives her a huge dragon suplex. We hear a small holy shit chant as Ian Rotten makes his way to his feet. She's out! Our ladies champion is going to have to start thinking about title defenses, trips to Europe, trips to Africa. Ian slowly walks up to Mickey and grabs her by the hair and starts bringing her into the corner. Just being able to wake up tomorrow morning, she's got to start thinking about. She has already proved herself. Ian Rotten grabs that blue chair wrapped in barbed wire and puts it on Mickey's no, face. Come on. This is... This is too Ian backs up and fucking kicks it into her face. Oh, God. It's too much, I think. Oh, God. Come on, Ian. I mean. Ian takes the chair off her as the crowd breaks out into another Mickey chant. 
Look at that. Ian, look around. Ian hears the fans and starts shaking his head like, fuck that. that this crowd still... Ian grabs Mickey by the hair and says something to her and lays her down in the middle of the ring. Word of victory here. Yes, but at this point, the crowd should realize that they are hurting Mickey. Ian picks up an old school boombox wrapped in barbed wire. Ian, if they love Mickey, if they want to see Mickey stay healthy, start cheering for Ian. Maybe Ian will lighten up. And Ian stands there holding it as she tries to make it to her feet and he smashes it into her fucking face. Oh! Ian tells Mickey to stay the fuck down. Mickey! Ian yelling, stay down! Mickey, though! Not Mickey gonna stay not, down. Mickey is not gonna stay down. She's got a point to prove. The, you entire, the, the whole building breaks out into another Let's Go Mickey chant. There's, and I can tell you what each one of them are thinking. That is Ian's Mickey top. slowly tries to make it to her feet. That girl. And this is what he's doing to her. So what the hell is he gonna do to those guys? Ian fucking smashes her in the head with it again. And, and even if that... Oh, jeez. It seems like a far-fetched idea at this point, but even if Mickey Knuckles somehow wins this match, she's proving to the rest of the locker room that it, she's not going to be a cakewalk for anything. We get a shot of Mickey laying there just fucking battered, and then we see Ian Rotten picked up the barbed wire wrap blue chair again. This seems over... That, that's, that weapon seems too much to me. Jim, I'm, I'll be perfect. Mickey honest. slowly tries to make it to her feet again. And there is too much. But this one, a barbed wire chair, I mean, the chair shots of Ian Rotten are legendary. Ian fucking scrambles her brain with the chair. To it. Oh! Add barbed wire to it. Oh! That's it. Mickey hits the fucking deck and Ian gets on top of her and goes for the pin and only gets a two count again. Two! She kicks out again! Places fucking losing it and breaks out into another Mickey Knuckles chant as Ian stands Mickey up. Oh no! As Ian stands her up, Mickey gives him a big chin buster. Oh! Chin buster! Mickey seizes the opportunity to grab more weapons. Grab something! Anything! And start swinging Mickey! Mickey picks up a light tube bundle and turns around and fucking cracks Ian with it. Light tubes! Jesus fucking Christ, the bundle bounced off Ian's head and almost went into the fucking front row. Oh! Oh! That set of light tubes, a glancing blow! Ian sits there leaning against the ropes and we see him mouth something to Mickey, but we can't hear what he says. Didn't glance off those in the front row! Mickey starts going back into the weapons. He picks up another light tube bundle and goes for another swing. Ian falls into the ropes and starts blading, and we see Mickey walk up to him. Unloading on Ian with those light tubes. Mickey walks up to Ian, and he gives her a big cunt punt. Do you realize that she's one? Mickey pretty much no-sells it, so Ian does it again. King of the death. Oh! Mickey's still standing there, so Ian gives her a big forearm. Oh, took her face off. Mickey finally drops down to one knee, and Ian Rotten starts looking for weapons. Ian picks up a barbed wire and light tube skateboard and puts it down in the middle of the ring. Ian picks Mickey up for a giant slam. Oh, Mishinoko drop! Oh, Mishinoko drop! Mishinoko driver onto the barbed wire and light tubes, and Ian goes for the pin and finally gets the fucking three count. Mickey Knuckles just lays on the mat as the referee raises Ian's hand in victory as the crowd breaks out into an IWA chant. Fans at this show were so fucking lucky they saw one of the best deathmatch tournaments ever and Ian stands back up onto his feet and the crowd breaks out into another Mickey chant.
crowd is just fucking loving it and breaks out into a thank you Mickey chant. Mickey tries to make it to her feet, but she's in so much fucking pain. Then the crowd breaks out into a She's Hardcore chant. You can see that Ian agrees. Mickey slowly sits up onto her knees. Mickey looks at Ian and smiles a little bit, and then the fans break out into a That Was Awesome chant. That was awesome! That was awesome! That was awesome! Ian slowly walks over and extends his hand to Mickey. Mickey accepts and takes Ian's hand and stands up to her feet, and Ian Rotten gets on the mic and has a word for her. Ian and Mickey embrace and hug it out in the middle of the ring as the fans go fucking nuts in a wholesome deathmatch moment. Ian drops the mic and turns around to see if she's listening to that fan. Mickey's like, what the fuck? Give me another hug. Ian walks back up and hugs her as the fans all go nuts. Mickey smiles and checks out her arm as the fans go crazy and Ian Rotten makes his way into the back and she bows down to the crowd saying thank you. Mickey starts clapping with the fans in the ring as they all show her so much fucking love. Fans break out into a next year's champion chant. Mickey hears the chant and she shrugs like, hmm, maybe. After the match, Ian cuts a promo. You know, 
I've been in this business for 16 years. Been two and a half years in ECW. So to say I've seen some shit is an understatement. I've been all over the world. I've seen the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. I've seen the lights of downtown New York City. I've seen the lights of Tokyo, Japan. I've seen a royal wedding, a royal coronation. I've even seen two goats on the side of the road in Switzerland fucking. I've seen it all. I thought. They say that she, she is the second coming of Ian Rotten. No. I'll tell you what she is. She may have been my second around opponent, and she may have been another step to me capture my third king of the death matches. She's not the second coming of Ian Rotten. She's the first coming of the baddest bitch ever to grace professional wrestling. She's the first coming of Mickey Knuckles. Bank on it, bet on it. We also got a promo from Mickey. You no. Know, when I first asked Ian about this, he said no. Can't do it. Never happened. He was dead set against it. But look what happened. Finally managed to get myself in there. Managed to face the one person who didn't want me in the tournament at all. Even though I didn't win, I still held my own, and that's what's important. To show that girls are just as equal as guys. So the next time you hear that I can't do anything like a boy, you remember this. And you remember this. And you remember what I just went through. And tell me that I can't hang with the boys at IWA. Ian moved on to the semifinals where he lost a dysfunction in a barbed wire light tube pool rubbing alcohol match after dysfunction gave him a DVD into the pool. Oh! All right, the last time that rubbing alcohol was used at a King of the Death match tournament, dysfunction wins. It costs, it costs a lot of money. You gotta call that somewhat of an. Thanks for watching the video guys, I already know you fucking enjoyed that match because it was fucking insane. Now that's the way a fucking fans ring the weapons match should be. I know Ian Rotten gets a ton of hate online, but I gotta admit, this match was fucking awesome. It's so much more interesting when you know that it's rumored that Ian Rotten was having an affair on his wife with Mickey Knuckles around this time. This was one of those matches where you could tell the opponents have trust and respect for each other to go fucking nuts. In case you guys didn't see, Tournament of Death 19 tickets are up for sale. I'll put a link to the tickets in the description along with a link to all my social medias. You guys should definitely check out the Patreon. I've been uploading something almost every single day on there. You have to type in patreon.com slash blako561 into your browser because it doesn't come up on the app. It's a good way to show me some support because YouTube doesn't let me make a fucking dollar off my videos because they're all 18 and up and you could see the live events that I filmed including full deathmatch tournaments and shows in Florida, Patreon exclusive matches, the videos YouTube's too pussy to let me keep up, shoot interviews, music videos, giveaways, and more. I've been uploading some insane fucking stunts on there. Check out this clip from Dirty Sanchez. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, Holy shit. Holy shit. On August 27th, me and my father flew out to Boston to see ICW Pit Fighters Battle of the Tough Guys 2 tournament. You can watch the full tournament at patreon.com slash blako561. Here's a clip of Slade giving Christian Ross brain damage for calling him a pussy. Also on Patreon, I just uploaded a no rope barbed wire double hell pit of lit cigarettes and hot coals. Fans bring the weapons fucking death match. Both men went fucking insane on each other and got burnt backdrop. to shit. It's a backdrop into hot coals and Mitch Page.
I'll also be choosing one exclusive Patreon member to get the free ICW No Holds Barred t-shirt. Sign up now to get a chance to win that bad boy. And as always, that leaves me with my special thank you and major shout out to my Patreon family. That's Wolfie Kohaku, Garrett McNulty, Grant Stoppel, Matt Watts, Logan Flanagan, Damian Edgerton, Thomas Sanchez, It's Stuck Sandwich Films, Jack Egan, Crashy, Benjamin Ayling, Dylan Petricelli, Yogi Dick, Nicholas Cron, Jeremy McNarley, Martin Guerrero, Jake Steele, Calculating Infinity, Baker, David R., Chris Graham, KJR, Derek, Silent Enigma, Hizzle Bizzle, Orion Bailey, Hollow Point, Evan Davies, my new best friend Christian, Stuart McFerrin, Connor Doherty, Alex Byrne Tattoos, Tracy world adam james kelly andy bauer trab brian wargotts josh taylor ron major mp mandu christopher perellas dylan mullins king 2021 crack yo john botterio diego ortiz chase wolf shane brian colt tyler brock shane morgan mr tobias nick normal uilnr patty von clambit furrows furrows bong studley isaac birdsong charbel kerswani grave memories joe Paksowski, brent maddie element guavion cj dickmeyer marcus martin and for my hitters on the fucking second page, we got to Sundre419, Devour the Dark, Wayne Conway, Coma Kid, Garrett Ramey, Van Murphy, Joshua Reisig, Twisted Insane, Dan Hannix, Gong ZZO, Eich Katzel, Orange Velocity, Eric Fenlin, Deez Nuts, Robert Bodenheimer, Matthew Smith, The Horror Master, Andy A, Michael Perry, Dan McGee, Carson Reed, I'm Jay Steele, Sean Osmond, Kid Zap, Daryl Bowman, Terry Willard, Insane Messiah, LSB Forever, and Manda Lund. I love my Patreon family so much, I'll drive to their house and suck on their fucking nipples as always i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next fucking video later